this is the MSI Optics MAG 27 CQ and I'm going to tell you 5 things you need to know about this curved gaming monitor. To get more gameplay immersion, our gaming monitors are curved. The great benefit of this is, is that you can see more of your screen in your viewing field and it will allow you to make you feel more connected to your gameplay. An extra is, if you have two or three optics monitors in a panoramic setup, you can create the perfect curved viewing line. The Optics MAG 27CQ is equipped with a 144Hz refresh rate. This gives you an even smoother motion of your game than on 30 or 60Hz. This all comes down that there are more pixels displayed on your screen so that animations are more smooth. The position of the Optics MAG monitors can easily be changed thanks to our adjustable stand. You can tilt. Swivel or change the height. The Optics MAG 27 CQ is equipped with a 1440p or WQHD resolution panel. This will give you a lot more pixels than a normal full HD screen and it will get you a higher resolution. So your games will look sharper and a lot better. Sometimes we all need a little help with gaming. So the Optics MAG 27 CQ has a built-in side overlay. This will always allow you to summon a crosshair on your monitor for those games where you need a big crosshair. My name is Wes from ASUS, and today I'm going to show you the difference of the ASUS VG245HE console gaming monitor and a conventional 43 inch TV on the PS4. You might be wondering, what is input lag? Input lag is a time delay between pressing a button on your controller and seeing its effects on screen. Generally speaking, high input lag will cause a slower connection, meaning you'll have to wait longer before you see what happens next. For example, when I press R1 to shoot on the PS4 controller here, how much longer after I press it do I have to wait until it shows up on screen? Alright, let's get started on Doom. So input lag on an LCD monitor is typically much lower than a TV. ASUS console gaming monitors also include GameFast input technology to further minimize input lag. If you see here, I've already started my explosive shot from the shotgun on the right. On the left, I'm not quite sure. And if you check here, I've already hit the button on the right. On the left, my guy can't quite make up his mind, I guess. Now let's try this out on Star Wars Battlefront. On the monitor on the right, I can see firing my laser earlier, while the lasers passing by me are also earlier than you see on the TV. The force is obviously not with the TV on the left, with a longer response time between something happening on the controller and seeing what happens on screen. If you still can't notice the difference, here's some slow-mo lasers passing by me consistently a couple steps behind. So to wrap it all up, a gaming monitor won't make you a pro by any means, but getting a good gaming monitor with low input lag is definitely going to give you a considerable boost when you can see what's happening on screen sooner.